Hey guys, Bryce here, uh, and I have completed my Tasman 2 suit. And yes, it is all completed. I did some new mods to it. I have a face. I have a face show. I got my lenses on. I showed you all that. I made. I made my own custom web shooters. And uh, well, let's. I'll show you in the video. Let's get into it. Okay, so off the bat, the suit looks really nice. The blue looks really nice and dark. Well, from my eyes. Uh, let's start off with the uh, web shooters. Uh, the web shooters were uh, made out of uh, plastic from movie cases, and it was um, puff painted. And I made, and I thickened the puff paint up a lot, so it looks really, really 3D. <laughs> Sorry, there's something on my screen. Um. If you heard uh, me blowing on the screen, and yeah, so there is uh, it. It consists of two, three things: a web cartridge, a nozzle, which is a little off, and a base. Which the base you need a I puff painted, but I have a video dedicated all to that, and I did that for this other one too. And oh, and on the bottom of them there are these little. Uh, Buttons that are also on on the suit. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's go down to the mask. The mask I made myself. Uh, uh, I I went through a lot of trial and error with the uh, trying to put the lenses on. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna redo the lens frames with foam so they don't look so crappy once I get the foam. Yeah, this is puff painted and it has uh, a brick pattern on it. Lenses are a wire mesh and plastic. <laughs> and you cannot see through that. And here's a cool thing. Uh, it's just a toy mask that I'm still trying to sand down the webbings. It's not that hard. I uh, cut it to make it to my chin. I put foam inside for, for comfort. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll put that on for you later. Uh, let's go down to the shoes. The shoes were a slipper. I was originally gonna use water uh, boots, but uh, it just became too difficult, and I got a size too big. It didn't look good, so I just used these. And uh, if you do not know, there is um, a sock inside here. So uh, when I, it, it's just better that way. If you didn't know that, if you didn't know that already, before there was like cloth, like this padding, on the slipper that I actually just glued this out of the shoe and it just didn't feel right, so I ripped it off. But on this one, I uh, oh I didn't re glue that right there, but uh, I I glued this out with hot glue. But uh, yeah, so what I I got this one off perfectly, so. But this one just stayed on there, so I just cut it off. I, I gave up, and I just cut it off. And then I just put a sock inside there, so, like, it gives me some extra padding. And there's there's nothing else inside there except for the sock. And it's a little smudgy on the uh, brick, uh, brick pattern. And that there's a sock inside this one, too. Um, as you noticed, uh... If you can see this, there's this nice honeycomb pattern on the blue. It came like that. It looks really nice. And then there is also the sea blinds. And here's a broken up sea blind that didn't look good. So I just did my own sea blinds again. I did that again. They uh, meet up right there. That goes on the suit. And uh, uh, as you can see, uh, my fully puff painted uh, uh, front spider. Oh, sorry. Uh, and then we have uh, my brick pattern that goes all over the suit. I think you can see it right there. It it just it's just all over the suit. And as you see before, oh, I need I I need to add a line right there, but there are I added. There's a little red gap, and I have a video dedicated uh just to. Fixing the red gap and it's pretty easy. It requires puff paint and just adding the extra lines. And yeah, um, 
we got my my finger grippers and palm trigger and the buttons. I already showed you that. Uh, the neck piece that is uh, I it just came with one line and lines like this, so I just added my extra lines to make it look more movie accurate. That's how it looked before, and that's how the web egg looked like before. It it was just plain gray, but I wanted to make it metallic, so I did did, did this. And yeah, that's the whole suit. Let's go on to the back. All right, here we are. The first thing I'm going to show you is the zipper goes across the black. It, as you see, it crinkles. Um, the back spider it looks really nice and glossy. Uh, it looks really nice. And when you get into like white, it just looks glossy. You can just see the gloss. And so uh, here's the seam lines. It's a belt. And the same lines on the back of the, uh, down the, at, down the ass cheeks. Excuse me for laying ass. There's the shoes again. And yeah, that is everything. And I will put the suit on for you. Alright guys, this is the suit. And uh, as you see, from my uh, face appearance, I had the face show on. See, I can do that. Like... But my voice does sound kind of muffled, and yeah, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. It it's just a cheap one, and it it works out pretty well. It just gets a little steamy. But yeah, let me swap the whole suit. Yeah, looks nice. Uh, give you a closer up, um, closer look at the web shooters. This is the one that has the nozzle that's kind of crooked, and yes, I'll show off uh, the clipping. See, and then you just snap back on. If I can get it on. There, see, in it? It's very compact. It's not coming off. It's steamy in here. Sorry. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show off some pretty good pictures, like some down low ones, like skills, like, yeah. And um, here are the, here are the shoes. I hope you can see this, I have my camera ground but yeah that is uh this is my completed suit remember to uh comment like subscribe um please subscribe for more because i don't have a lot of subscribers and i i act like i do but i don't so stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys in my future videos what the heck?